Juneteenth is Wednesday. It became a federal holiday in 2021. It is a day when the nation commemorates the ending of slavery and freedom for African Americans. After Juneteenth, Jim Crow laws and the Ku Klux Klan came to intimidate and oppress black people, and that included some folks right here in Miami. Tonight, in the first of a series of Juneteenth reports that we will bring you this week, CBS News Miami's Tanya Francois shares a remnant of those times still being kept and preserved. Juneteenth is about being free of racial intimidation. Geographically, South Florida is in the South. In the early 1900s, segregation and racial oppression was a way of life. The Klan burned crosses right here in Miami, and we found one of them. We have those things as a, not necessarily to constantly um, thrive or, 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 or ruminate on those negative aspects of the past, but to serve as a reminder that these things actually happen, that this is a part of our history. Seeing it takes your breath away. The decades old cross is stored in Overtown at the Lyric Theater and is a part of the black archives. It's small, but its message still very clear. Camilla Pritchett is the executive director. The cross that we have was because there was a black person invited to a church. I'm wearing a glove to protect the cross from the natural oils that are on my hand. At 75 years old, if you touch it, the soot still wears off. In 1939, just before an election day, crosses were used by the Ku Klux Klan to scare black voters. Back then, Overtown was called Colored Town. Nadej Green is the founder of Black Miami-Dade. So the Miami Klan came out the day before election day with a parade of cars through Overtown. They burned 25 crosses at all of the major intersections of Overtown, a cross was placed, set on fire. Life magazine covered that Klan rally. It published pictures of what Miami looked like then. The poll tax has been lifted, and that terrified the white power structure in Miami because all of a sudden now you have all of these black voters who can go out and vote. There weren't just cross burnings, dummies hung from poles, and there are pictures of nooses dangling from cars. The terror didn't work. More than a thousand black people still showed up and voted. Life magazine noted it was the biggest turnout in Miami election year history. You may call out the Klan, but you must have forgot that a Negro is a man. The movement so powerful, D. Langston Hughes wrote a poem about Miami called The Ballad of Sam Solomon. It was down in Miami a few years ago. Negroes never voted, but Sam said it's time to go to the polls election day and make your choice known. The entire poem is on our website. You can go to cbsmiami.com to read it. At the Lyric Theater, Tanya Francois, CBS News, Miami. An important part of history, and there was such a proud defiance back then. Yes, and all week we're going to be bringing you these amazing stories. I mm -hmm. think they offer a lot of insight into South Florida's history that I think many people don't know about. So looking forward to those pieces all week. No doubt.